A microwave thermal protector prevents damage to other microwave oven components by interrupting the voltage being sent to the high voltage system if the appliance overheats. If the thermal protector is defective, the microwave may shut off after a few seconds or may not heat or work at all. To help identify a defective thermal protector, you can use a multimeter to perform a continuity test on the component. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the thermal protector. If the part has continuity, it should be allowing an uninterrupted flow of current to pass through. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the thermal protector will need to be replaced. The thermal protector is normally located in the main housing of the microwave behind the control panel and it will need to be removed or isolated from the appliance for proper test results. You may need to uninstall the microwave and remove the cover and vent ducts to access the thermal protector. Be aware that the high voltage and current used by microwave ovens can cause injury or death if the unit is being disassembled. You should always unplug the appliance before attempting any repairs, but since the high voltage capacitor may retain a charge even after the oven has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals test and replace internal components. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform a continuity test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the leads together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance, or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Now contact the black meter lead to one of the thermal protector's terminals and the red lead to the other terminal. If the meter reading shows zero ohms of resistance, the thermal protector has continuity. However, if the meter's needle does not move or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity and a new thermal protector will need to be installed to restore voltage to the microwave's high voltage system. Keep in mind, a thermal protector that unexpectedly opens or loses its continuity is often the result of a defective cooling fan.